What's up guys, uh, it's been a while. Um, see if I remember how to do this. Today we're starting a new project. Uh, we're gonna be starting on the GameCube. And if you don't remember, we are putting Raspberry Pi 3 inside a GameCube. We're calling it the Pi Cubed. Got any better ideas? Let me know. This video we're gonna be doing a tear down the GameCube, getting all the internals out, getting down to just the raw case, seeing what parts we need to keep, what parts we need to get rid of. Um, and that's probably all we're going to do today, so let's get started on that. Alright, so the only thing we need to do to get inside the GameCube is uh, use this proprietary bit driver. Uh, you can pick these up on eBay for a couple bucks. Uh, there's a couple sites as well that sell them. If I find a link for one, I'll stick it in the description. You guys can check that out. Uh, I was going to show you guys how I did this before these things existed, um, but I can't find any pens or lighters. So if you're interested in that, let me know. It's kind of ghetto, but if you want to see it, I'll show you. Anyway. There's only like four screws on this guy, so it's not incredibly complicated to open up. So then this whole bottom, we can just take off. All right, so we got a fresh tin for this guy. Um, I'm gonna label it, it's the pie cubed. That's a two, David. Pi cubed, here we go. We definitely need to hang on to those four screws. That's probably all the internal screws we need to save, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and do a full tear down and get down to the frame of this guy and see what we have to have so, it'll, so that it'll be able to go back together. Uh, once you're inside, everything's just Phillips head, so it's not difficult at all. I would generally recommend a uh, magnetic for this just so you don't lose the screws. And again, we are gonna hang on to all these screws, so I don't know what, if any, we'll need. I would like to keep this fan in here because the three does get a little hotter than the older pies do, but I'm not sure what we're gonna be able to do with that kind of gross we'll clean it up too uh, once we get a little further along take the front off here it's fairly simple that should be fairly straightforward to, to jack into uh, I have a plan for this as well I'll show you that in a later episode it's gonna be awesome so I guess we'll just keep taking screws out until this thing decides to come apart because I'm not sure at what point this drive comes out. It may actually screw in from the bottom. Uh, I don't remember. It's been a while. So I guess this whole thing we can just kinda, I don't know if we can toss this or not. Hmm, do we need anything off of this? This is gonna sit here. Power switch is up here. But that, we should be able to remount without that. That should be fine. This is the door close. Where's the reset button? So it's power, eject, Reset should be like right here. Did I take off a reset button already? Aha! So resets on this guy. That's beautiful. So we don't actually need this disc assembly at all. So we can just kind of set that on the shelf. And for these internals, if I remember right, this aluminum block actually holds the rest of this in. So we'll have to pull all that out. We're gonna pull it all out anyway, but I'm a little worried about this guy because we want to be able to patch back into that to get AV out. So we may have to desolder that and then reattach it somehow. We might be able to just cut the board out and do it that way. I was trying not to destroy any boards in this one like we did the N64, but 
This is extra. I have three other working game cubes. Not a big deal. I wonder if that thing's still recording. Looks like my computer may have locked up. Did my computer lock up? No. Okay, well, if the audio quit working, I'm sorry. And if it didn't, then I'm just an idiot. Audacity's doing something weird over there. This whole thing should just come out. Yep. And there's all your expansion bays. And there's your whole GameCube system. Um, so we are probably going to have to desolder this and hook it up because I do want these flaps on there. And they're actually on the board itself, not on the, um, the exterior like the other systems are. Um, and I'll probably just desolder that too. I don't want to break anything if I don't have to. Because uh, we could always rehome the guts of this thing too. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. And then this guy looks like we got two more screws in the middle here. And we'll be down to the bottom. Which the bottom of this thing should be interesting because there's a lot of expansion cards. So there's going to be a lot of raised areas to compensate for those. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. So this could be good and this could be a problem. I'm not really sure what to do with that. This is the back side. We're going to have this guy up here. So uh, one of my plans is we're going to have the HDMI and the USB coming out the back here. So that means we are going to have to actually tear this whole hunk of plastic out where this expansion slot goes. Oh man, that feels bad. I don't want to do that. But you can't make it on without breaking some eggs. As long as I can keep this cubby here and those two nubbins, I should be able to put the port back on like nothing's happening. So that's my goal. So we'll get into modding that. Probably in the next video. Um, I'm probably gonna do that tonight. I just want to see what what can, what I'm working with basically. I've got a lot to plug into this thing. Uh, this is our HDMI output, so I'm gonna have to have room there for that guy. I'm gonna have to have room for the HDMI cable to come out, and room for the USB out. So, this is going to be a pretty tight fit on all sides, but that's why we do these things, because they're challenging, not because they're easy. I do have a extension here as well for the SD card, so we're going to take the SD card and put it out one of these sides, probably this side over here, because that's about the same size as an SD card maybe. So probably this one, and we can just cut a slot in it for the SD card to go in just in this cover, something like that. Where'd you go? We'll make it pretty. So it looks like this vertical height's not really gonna be a problem. We have a lot of clearance here. So we can always go up with things if they're starting to get hard to in. So that's always good to know. Uh, we also have to get this adapter in here, uh, which we'll disassemble and we'll wire these up to the GameCube ports. Um, I actually haven't taken this apart yet. Let's do that too. We'll do that disassembly and we'll just have disassembled everything that's going in this. what kind of electronics we're working with in this thing. That is super simple. I love it. Love it. You guys probably can't see what I'm so excited about yet, but I will show you. So this is a super simple board. Uh, we're literally just going to take these four wires off and take those four wires off and man, we could just use those. We probably won't do that. We'll, um, we'll use the factory ones. But yeah, that's way easier than I thought it was going to be. That always wonderful. Uh, so that's what the inside of this thing's like. Uh, we're gonna probably just, I'll probably just leave the switch attached and glue it down or something. There's plenty of room on the back for gluing. Uh, we'll just unsolder those points and solder up some wire and we'll be good to go. The new plan here is that we leave most of the bottom of this alone. So other than running cables through the middle here and 
out the back. You can leave that guy alone. Put this one back on top of it. Take this disc drive off and just mount the rest of the stuff up top here. Um, we could even put like this board underneath there. Um, I may even keep it in this case and just run the wires out where the holes are. Um, a lot of planning to do here. Just kind of brainstorming on the camera here. So we'll, we'll figure it as we go. All right, let's go do it for now. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, get subscribed. Uh, a lot more to come on this project. Uh, we've got a long way to go. Uh, this is just the beginning. So uh, next video will probably be actually desoldering the ports on everything, um, finishing up our final placement plannings, that kind of thing. Uh, and then we're getting actually mounting the case and all that stuff. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so hit subscribe, stick around. See you guys next time.